Hello! Finally! Welcome! It is homework time. It is science, Mr. Robertson. This is me. This is our first science video for this year. The plan is that when we've got new things coming up, hopefully we'll do lots of them as homeworks so you're ready and you understand for the lesson. That's the plan. Today's lesson is on something called a food chain or for Svenska en Neringskedia. What we're going to do in today's lesson is look and try and understand this word and some other important words we need to know. I start with my favourite animal. Well, my favourite animal is actually a penguin, but this will do. It's a rabbit. And rabbits, you know, they're great animals, but they need to eat. And that eating can actually be a bit of a problem. Usually, what they eat is some grass. So the grass is eaten by the rabbit. Simple, simple. What does the grass eat? Grass is a plant. Grass doesn't eat. Grass is actually really clever. It can take energy from light up through its roots, water, and the air around it. Combine those three together to make beautiful, sweet sugar. The grass can make its own energy. We call that being a producer. It can make its own energy. The rabbit, the rabbit can't make its own energy. The rabbit has to eat to survive. It is, in science world, called a consumer. It eats to survive. Grass to rabbits. This is the most simple type of food chain. I can actually make it better because the grass is eaten by the rabbit. The energy in my food chain always goes up. The producer is always at the bottom and then things go up from there. Every type of plant, every plant is a producer because every plant can take energy from the sun, from the water, from the air. Every food chain starts with a plant. Could be a flower, could be grass, could be lettuce, could be salad. It has to be a plant on the bottom of the food chain, always. And then animals high up. And it could go higher. Because even though I do love rabbits, and I do love rabbits. Sometimes a fox may come and eat my rabbit. It's true. It's true. My fox is also a consumer because it also eats to survive. So it must also be a consumer. However, it's not just a consumer. My fox is also a predator. And a predator is a type of animal that hunts and eats other animals. So quite often my predator is going to be something with sharp teeth to rip and tear the flesh and skin of an animal. 
sharp claws to grab on tight and not let go. Maybe as well, he might be stronger to overpower the animal he eats. Rabbits are lovely. Rabbits do not try and eat other animals. Absolutely not. The rabbit, in this case, is a prey. It tries to avoid predators. And I think I spelled that wrong. Is it tries? Yes. Tries to avoid predators. A prey must be fast to escape a predator. It needs good ears and eyes that look everywhere, not just forwards. So if anything's coming from any direction, it can see it, hear it, and it can run away. Predators and prey. This here is a food chain. A simple, but a food chain nevertheless. Energy comes in at the bottom. Without plants, if there was no plants here, there'd be no rabbits, there'd be no foxes. We need plants to survive in order to get all of the wonderful animals that survive on the planet. Think about the food you have. It may be plants you eat. Maybe it's things like bread that comes from flour that comes from wheat plants. Maybe you love eating meatballs. But what does the meat eat before it gets to your plate? The cow or the ham? Thank you very much. There's some questions on the link below on Schoolsoft. Take care. Thank you very much.